tristeza. Ok. Hi everybody. Um, so it's been, I don't know, three weeks? Maybe a little bit longer than three weeks since I uploaded. And um, explanations, explanations. Okay. So, uh, okay, so James and I came back from Suffolk and everything was fine. And the little pop pop, little pops, my little pussy cat that comes to visit me. Um, was fine and about three days after I got back from Suffolk she she seemed very low lethargic um, she turned her nose up at cheese and that was like unheard of all she wanted to do was sleep she looked really depressed so myself and my neighbour, who also has Pop Pop to come and stay sometimes, um, we knocked on her owner's door and, you know, said we were a bit worried about Pops. And had she noticed that she wasn't herself and all that sort of stuff. And the owner said that she had noticed and that she'd spoken to the vet. The vet said keep an eye on her, I think, because she'd only not eaten for 24 hours. But we said, look, we think you need to speak to the vet. We, need, we, we think you need to take Pops to the vet. So she did. She took Pops to the vet. She was put on steroids and she had antibiotics. She started to eat after she'd been put on the steroids. But she was still very weak and wasn't herself. It was just like the life had gone from her eyes. She lost a lot of weight. Um, and in the end, unfortunately, unfortunately, her owner took her to the bed. And he found a massive tumour. And that I don't think was operable. And uh, the owner, I think, was advised that it would be kinder to put Pops to sleep because she was in a lot of pain, apparently. And uh, I don't think she was going to get better. So, I'm really sorry to have to tell you that my little companion Pops is gone. So, I'm heartbroken, as you can tell, absolutely heartbroken. Added to that, the day before Pops was put down on the 6th, she was put down on the 7th, put to sleep. She was put to sleep on the 7th, on the 6th. Uh, my mum had to be uh, carted off in an ambulance <laughs> to hospital with chest pains and breathlessness. And so I then drove up to them like a crazy person on the 6th uh, of September, I'm talking about this month, uh, drove up there and um, managed to see her off in the ambulance and I've been there ever since <coughs> looking after mum and dad, <laughs> but mainly mum, uh, cooking and cleaning and uh, just generally being there for her, doing all the errands and the shopping and washing and all that sort of stuff. So. I've only just got back today uh, because if I didn't come back, 
and my flat would have been even more disgusting than it was. So I'd left stuff in bins. I had mould growing in cups. It stank in here. My plants were like nearly dead. My flowers were dead. It's uh, it, It's been an eventful, has it been an eventful few weeks? Mum's fine. She's been struggling with this breathlessness and tiredness, um, sort of chest pain for a while. Uh, and it's, it turns out that it's probably undiagnosed angina. So she's got a CT scan um, next week. So we shall find out more then. So fingers crossed. She's gonna be cool. She might need a stent. Um, she might not need a stent. She has medication, she has spray, and she's doing much, much better. So my dad has to do more around the house. My mum needs to stop running around the place and hopefully all will be well. The third thing, and I'm hoping, you know, these things comes in three. So I'm hoping this is like the last thing. So I'm not sure I can cope with any more. Uh, the third thing is that I am now unemployed and mm. <laughs> what can I tell you about that? I didn't really have a choice uh, in the matter and I'm unemployed. As some of you know, I used to be cabin crew and now I'm not. So that's a bit of a shock to the system. 15 years gone like that. I am now also actively looking for a job slash career slash I don't know what. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's the update. I'm sorry that it's not happy. <laughs> it's not a happy update, but hopefully mum's going to be fine. Hopefully I'm going to get a job and we have to say goodbye to Pops and remember her as the beautiful little furry soul that she was. So that's it for now. Uh, short and sweet. I just wanted to put my head up and say hi. I'm still here, uh, still be making videos. Just wanted to bring you up to date with what's been going on. Onwards and upwards, I guess. Onwards and upwards. I hope you're all well and you are coping and you're not having crappy things happen to you because on top of everything else, it's just, <laughs> you know, it's not nice. Thank you for watching and thank you for being there for me and thank you for continuing to support me. So I will speak to you very soon, very, very soon and um, take good care of yourselves in the meantime. Thank you.